Okay, so this is where I put the bags of cardboard and mycelium after I got it done. He's sitting up there in the corner. It's nice and dark. It's so, let's see, what is it here? 72, 73 degrees in here. So this is the bag I made up. I hope you can see it fairly well. Let me try and get it out of here with one hand without dropping it and disturbing everything too much. Get it to some better light. There we go, that's a better picture. Man, look at it go. That is amazing. A little bit, I don't know if you can see it coming up through the tops there. There's a big chunk right there growing. There's a little bit right there, just starting to get onto the cardboard. Here, let me set it down. I don't want to bother it too much. But, overall, it is looking really good. This is just three days. So, I think for three days we have significant progress. And then, I'll show you something else. I have this bag. And this is kind of an experiment. And it really shouldn't work. What it is, I, uh, I took some more of the pearl oyster spawn and I took some recycled wood mulch and I kind of mixed it together. Of course, I soaked my mulch and got it nice and damp. And then I mixed up the mycelium with it. So, but it really shouldn't work because it's pearl oyster mushroom spawn and most of this is old uh, pine wood is what they use for that recycled wood mulch and I would hazard a guess that there's probably some pressure treated wood mixed in there so it's like a double strike there it shouldn't work at all it shouldn't colonize the pine and if there's pressure treated wood in there then it really shouldn't colonize but nothing to lose except a little bit of spawn a little bit of wood mulch so I'm gonna give that a shot and just see what happens I can see a lot of growth but I think it's all still on the straw that the uh, spawn was started on so we're just gonna leave it in there see what happens Thanks for watching, and I'll give you another update in three more days.